Good morning. This is our Gospel Reflection for Friday of the fifth week of Easter. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you love one another. My sisters and brothers in Christ, the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Somewhere in his writings, St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits, told his followers that love is manifested much more greatly in <clears throat> deeds than in words. And if you think about it, especially in the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, there aren't many places where Jesus says to his followers, I love you. But in John's Gospel, we have, as the Father has loved me, so I love you. And in today's Gospel, this is my commandment, love one another as I love you. But altogether, in the testimony of the New Testament, there isn't that much where Jesus says, I love you. He manifests his love for us in deeds. And anyone who has worshipped at Jesu and walked into the church from the narthex doors, the first thing that catches their attention is that massive crucifix above the main altar. That is the deed that proves the love of God and the love of Jesus for us, his self-giving of his own life. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. And this is spoken in John's Last Supper discourse the day before the crucifixion of Jesus. He's telling them, watch what I do and know that I love you because I'm giving my very life for you. Families give their lives for their loved ones. Parents would do anything to care for their children. In these difficult days, know of God's love and know that if we follow this command to love one another, God's love for us is guaranteed. May God bless you.